I'm here tonight going to show off my Brunswick Model 120. Um, they're kind of harder to find. The 117 was probably one of the best sellers. The 120 and the 122 was kind of the top of the line cabinet. The 120 was just kind of in between, so I don't think they sold a lot of these. It's because you could probably buy the better one or the cheaper one with the same setup. Recently bought a really nice Yantono uh, reproducer on eBay. It went really cheap. Rebuilt it. And anyhow, the Edison Diamond Stylist was excellent. I've never seen one that didn't make a mark here out on this outer area. Well, this stylist is pretty good, and towards the end of this record, I'll show you that. Anyhow, we're going to hear from Ernie's hair, the, the Happiness Boys, Ernie Hare and Billy Jones, um, Go Home and Tell Your Mother. And it sounds really good. It's been rebuilt. So... This four-spring motor is probably one of the best. I would put it up against a Victor motor any day. Its performance for 1920 superseded a lot of companies by 1925, uh, 26. So anyhow, I'm really impressed and in, into uh, Brunswick's. Anyhow, I had to repair the link, put new gaskets in the diaphragms, make sure it was all sealed properly. 
and boy, this it's really it's really nice. I gave forty bucks for this thing on eBay, okay, and that's with shipping. There's just no bidders right now on eBay, so you can find some pretty good stuff out there if you look right. I think the difference in the 120 is these carvings here. Uh, the 117 don't have that. Um, also, on an early machine. You won't see this little stem down here. Usually has a little piece of uh, gasket material on it, so it don't vibrate here on the brake. So that's one of the signs you have. One of the earlier ones. This one's um, one hundred thousand fifty six ninety six nine, and it came. It lived its whole life in Columbia, Missouri. I actually found newspapers from nineteen thirty, thirty three, thirty two. So that was during the depression. And by telling, you know, looking at the hardware, and the other reproducer was just. It, it was just really bad. This one. It just shines like like it should, and it's the same era of the one I took off because they made different modifications on these. But anyhow, the diamond is just wonderful. Um, it's neat to have one of these, and it sounds really good actually. I've been playing electric records and, and acoustics, and I kind of like it a little bit better than uh, my diamond disc. The diamond disc sounds good, you know, it, but uh, the bigger diaphragm, the mica diaphragm, do, does change things a little bit. Uh, the frequency of the sound, anyhow. Thank you guys for looking. I might be able to come up with some more decent electric diamond discs to play. I don't have too many of them because those do go expensive on eBay. <laughs> There's somebody in the back corner collecting them. <laughs> I'll guarantee it. Anyhow, thank you guys and have a good night.